What now? I mean, why is Ellie so mad at me? What did I do? Would you stop talking about that miserable woman? She's the second worst thing that ever happened to us. <laughs> What's the first? You, you <laughs> sniveling worm. What? You're always whining. It's just Brian this, Brian that. Never a thought for anyone but yourself. And I'm sick of it. I can't believe you went to go see Ellie in our last hour as wife and womanly husband. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I thought you wanted me to be nice to Ellie. I thought that's what you wanted. Oh, you bumbling idiot. It was all part of my plan. You sent the torpedo? Why? <laughs> no, I'm the DVD pirate. I was using your ditzy ex-fiance to make me rich. I recorded her performance last night, and I'm going to release it to the world. Why wouldn't you tell me? Because I was manipulating you. Oh, duh. <laughs> Why are you telling me now? Because I know there's nothing that you can do about it. Because you obey every word that comes out of my mouth. We can't leave everyone else here to come with me off this boat right now. We can't leave everyone else here to die. Of course we can. I'm a DVD pirate, the most morally corrupt deviant in the entire world. You've heard of victimless crimes? Well, this isn't one. <laughs> She's right. But, I mean, how are we gonna get off the boat? No one can. Sonny has procured a lifeboat. Who's Sonny? The choreographer. He has a name, you know. Right. But what if I don't want to go? Oh, please, Brian. I'll meet you at the boat in five minutes. Bring the trunk. Uh, and change that shirt. It makes your tits look bigger than mine. <laughs> well, I guess being married to a DVD pirate could have its perks. Here we go. The beginning of the rest of the end of my life. Hey, buddy, would you like help with that luggage? That's what I'm here for. Oh, no. I'm all set. I just need to take this to my wife and then be miserable for the rest of my life. Wow, it sounds like you could use some of my help. Actually, I could. Could I borrow that jacket? My wife says I have moves, so I should fix that. <laughs> she really doesn't treat you that nice. You need to grow a pair. Finally! <laughs> But I, I, I think you misheard what I said. No, I think you misheard what I said. I think I'm gonna leave you two alone. <laughs> Let me tell you a tale. Brian, I think it would help you. I don't have time for your stories. I need to go. No! <coughs> you have to listen. Never forget, Papa. Never forget. Just sit down. There once was an orphan that nobody loved He was beaten and starved and frequently shoved And then one day he collapsed and he died They buried him with left a rock or a stone In a place that was barren where nothing had grown Nobody knew, no one cared, no one cried Then from that spot where nothing moved A pear tree arose it fed all the orphans who gathered from all over town. And that's why I'm wanted in the and young, spreading my seeds like a pirate's done one, to spite of the ones who are beaten, who lie past my time. Now's the time to take this into your care. Now's the time to plant some here and some there. 
perfect, they're all counting on you. Now's the 